Do y'all remember a few vlogs back when I went to the grocery store and I asked y'all how do y'all grocery shop and y'all told me y'all use lists and I said that I was going to use a list next time I go grocery shopping? Yeah. I lied. <laughs> What's good y'all? Welcome back to another video. If this is the first time y'all have tuned in, welcome to the channel. On this channel we do a little bit of everything. We have finance videos, we drop daily or weekly vlogs and here and there. And we just talk about life and just how we can continue to grow and improve and be the best versions of ourselves. I decided you guys that I need to really step up everything in my life. If you guys saw the last video, I talked a little bit about me needing to get back into some type of routine and really, you know, just prepare prepare myself for 2024 and really work on becoming the best version of myself I could possibly be. I'm looking to execute on that. And right now we're in a season of execution. I've noticed that for a while now there's been things that I've been supposed to do that I just haven't done because I just haven't felt like doing it knowing that I need to do it regardless. Prime example, eating. Now that kind of sounds weird, just eating, but I consider myself a pretty active person. I try to exercise a lot, go to the gym, play basketball, do whatever. But one thing I lack at is eating and I've known for a long time what I need to do to bulk up to get more weight on me but I just haven't done it I've been too lazy to actually count my calories track how much protein I'm taking throughout the day I know I need to hit at least 3200 calories in a day yet consistently I'm only somewhere between 1700 and 2200 there's so many things that I know I need to do that I'm just not doing because I'm just stuck in my ways and comfortable just living life in the same routine I've realized that we're not doing that anymore it's really time for us to grow and become the best versions of ourselves and I want to make sure that I'm holding myself accountable. If you guys see me slacking, you can say, hey, Alex, you said this is what you're doing. Why aren't you following through on that? I just really need to focus and just stop making excuses and be the Alex that I know I can be. What's good, y'all? So I'm about to start cooking dinner in a minute, but I wanted to put y'all on game to what I've been eating for my meals these past couple of, not even a couple of weeks, for these past few months since I moved, honestly. Right now, for dinner, we are having crispy buffalo ranch chicken with honey roasted carrots and it's supposed to be mashed potatoes. I'm gonna do regular potatoes, but this is what it looks like. It's from a company called Everyplate. This isn't sponsored at all, but I've been rocking with Everyplate heavy for the past couple of months. So they'll send you out meals. You can do three meals in a week, four meals in a week, five meals in a week, and you're able to customize and pick what it is that you want week in and week out. I like it because it takes out the hassle of me having to go to the grocery store and get specific things for each meal. Instead, I can pretty much just rely on Everyplate for my dinners, and all I have to do is just worry about breakfast and lunch. It is pretty cost efficient for me. Weekly, the dinners I believe I do like four dinners in a week and it runs me like $50 and the food is actually pretty healthy like for example we have this meal that I'm about to eat right now but I also have this right here saucy cherry balsamic pork chop blackened chicken and bacon tortellini and you can customize it like they have seafood as well if you want to go ahead and do seafood, salmon, all that good stuff. It is a really dope alternative if you really don't know how to cook like that. It gives you a list of what to do as far as instructions goes and it's been working pretty well for me. So I'm about to go ahead and chef this food up. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, it's not gonna look like how it looks in the picture. I've done this enough times to know. And at this point, y'all, I really don't care. I'm gonna just allow y'all to roast me on my bad cooking because hey, at least I'm trying. Like, like I said, do I get points for trying? Y'all can let me me know if I get points for trying. Ladies, y'all could tell me is dudes really in the kitchen cooking like that? Is dudes really having their own crib? Like, let me stop. I'm not even finna flex like that, but I'm finna go ahead and make this meal real quick and we finna see if it's good. So come on, let's go.
So I felt big time in the aesthetic department, but I feel like that was expected. I already knew it wasn't gonna look good. And I messed up. I was supposed to put the dressing on, the ranch dressing on in the beginning, and I didn't do that. But as long as it at least tastes good, I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna do a quick taste test, and we gonna see. Mmm. Taste wise is good. Aesthetic wise is terrible. But I'm gonna eat my dinner and my wine and catch up with y'all tomorrow because my camera's about to die. I'm gonna get this right though, y'all. Just, you know, I need help. Help. Somebody. Hey. You. Any one of y'all. Help me. Or just cook for me. That works too. <laughs> but I'm gonna tap in with y'all tomorrow morning. I'm out for the night. Peace, y'all. Dang. Still can't get it right. Just now leaving the coffee shop was able to get some work done today i was kind of feeling under the weather today so i didn't really want to record too much but i told myself that i was going to go outside today because just like i said yesterday we are attacking our weaknesses and you know how i mentioned before that i was having anxiety and just overthinking just talking to people and i had to understand that it's really just because i don't go outside like that it's really because i'm mostly inside majority of the time i've worked remotely for two years covid obviously hit i've moved to multiple states now so I had to take a step back and realize, okay, Alex, it's really just you getting in your own head. And in order to combat that, we're going to start going outside more. So I think I still like the other coffee shop better, but this is a nice little vibe. But yeah, you guys, I'm going to just go back home, relax, probably call it a night tonight. Hopefully I can come back tomorrow with some gym footage for y'all. What's good, y'all? New day new opportunity i'm feeling a lot better today i got some rest i had a little bit of a cold yesterday so after i got done with the coffee shop i literally just came home and laid down i'm gonna take y'all through a little bit of my chest workout i'm trying to figure out if i want to do shoulders with it or triceps with it i'll probably figure it out once i get to the gym and i'm gonna see y'all soon
What's good y'all? So I just wrapped up that workout. I decided to hit chest and some triceps and it was a good workout, you know. I felt a little bit weird recording. I've recorded in the gym before, but I brought my big tripod today and that just always stands out a little bit more. You know, it is what it is. There's other people filming in the gym. Again, like I said, I guess it's just an insecurity thing. I feel like it's always acceptable for people who maybe are like gym goers on a regular basis. And I go to the gym, but I mean, maybe people who are just super big and jacked and maybe they make content specifically relating to the gym it seems like that's a little bit more acceptable but again i could be in my own head and nobody even cares either way i got the clips so it doesn't really matter and i'm at american deli right now i hope y'all have an american deli where y'all at because it's so much better than wingstop in cali we didn't have american deli we just well if we did have american deli i never saw it before but American Deli is so bomb, y'all. I just got me a 10 piece lemon pepper wet and some fries. And I'm about to go back to the crib and bust down on that because I am starving. Halfway through the workout, I was like, yo, I'm ready to go home just so I can eat something. I'm gonna show you all the wings when I get to the crib. We gonna see, I might just end the vlog there afterwards. We, we gotta see, but I'm, I'm having fun with this vlog. This is one of the more fun vlogs I've made just taking y'all through what I've been doing. So I'm gonna tap in with y'all when I get these wings and we gonna see what the rest of the day is looking like. All right, y'all, so I'm back at the crib. Let me show you all the food real quick. I just got me a 10-piece combo with the fruit punch. And yeah, we got to smash on that real quick. But I think that's probably gonna do it for the vlog today because as I was coming home, I started hearing air come out of my tires. So I think maybe my tires has a needle in it or something. So I gotta go ahead and get that handled because I'm supposed to be driving to ATL tomorrow. If it ain't one thing, it's another. So I'm gonna go ahead and smash on this food real quick. And then I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this car taken care of so I can still push tomorrow. But I hope you guys did enjoy today's vlog. I'm gonna come back with hopefully a couple more videos before the the new year happy holidays merry christmas sending y'all some good vibes as always let's continue to grow together and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video i'm out peace